Like a lot of people ask me after the games where my motivation comes from and even why I'm still doing this. And for me, my motivation, like, it didn't go away just because I won this one medal. I always thought it's a pretty funny question when people are like, how do you still motivate yourself? Or why do you still keep going when you already reached all those goals? I feel like and I, I always had a hard time answering those questions in interviews because I was like, for me, this is not even a question. I like, just because I reached some of, like just because I won some competition doesn't mean that I'm going to stop snowboarding or that my motivation is anywhere else than it was before that. I think Anna pretty much reached everything you can reach, but uh, I think Anna never stops setting new goals because that's what makes her love snowboarding so much, that it's endless. You always can learn in snowboarding, even if it's like a new trick for competition or if it's bringing the tricks you did in competition to backcountry or filming street rails. Snowboarding is so endless. You can do whatever you want and I think Anna will always try to improve herself within snowboarding and getting a better snowboarder, no matter where, and that's her drive. I think she might be, like a lot of us, a little OCD and really wants to do things perfectly. So I think a lot of great athletes, you know, we're never really satisfied. We'll do something and then we can see what we could do better and I think that's what pushes her like she does one thing and then she's already looking forward to what else she's capable of. The humility to to look like a you know look like a dork to not look like you know very astute and professional at something and I think it really holds a lot of people back in life um, this this feeling of trying not to do anything where you look foolish. But it's a part of any process. Like even learning snowboarding, everyone is gonna look like a total dweeb at some point. I did, and Sean White did. Like, you gotta start somewhere. And for some reason, you know, socially, culturally, um, we live in a world that is quick to pass judgment and if you look foolish, you know, those with low enough self-esteem will make fun of you. And the people that persevere through that and are willing to look foolish and learn through failure, like, those are the ones that end up on top. So the most purest form of snowboarding within the snowboard industry, you know, it's, it's changed a lot over the years. There's been, you know, back in the day, it was very much you had to have the video part, which had to contain powder, kickers, street rails, you had to have the, the, the all-encompass rider. And if you could throw a couple of cherries on the top with a couple of contest wins, you were, you were a hero. Um, these days, um, it feels like the, it's shifted a lot more onto a contest base um, scene within snowboarding. There's obviously a really core cool rail riding scene that splintered off, which is awesome. There's still guys out there killing it in the backcountry. But it seems less and less that there are those classic all-round snowboarders with, with the video part, with everything. And I think that's not necessarily due to choice, it's just the contest schedule these days is so heavy that there's very, there's very little time even for a lot of riders to, to learn new tricks. And that's something that, that has to be issued and uh, addressed, I think, within the sport is this, the schedule's so tight. Like the fact that girls and guys even manage to learn new tricks is, is, is something incredible, let alone go and film a video part. Um, it's uh, it's a tough thing these days to, to find that, that element still in there, but I think it's still out there. I don't want to be that one trick wonder. Like, I want to be a well I want to be known as a well rounded snowboarding, and if you just talk about one trick, it's like it kind of like people just think about you as that one trick person and not just about you being a good snowboarder, which I read I would have would be seen as a well rounded snowboarder that's good in more aspects.